Week Nation, what's going on? Short Gaming here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be opening the featured packs. You get me? So we have three featured packs here. These are the Euro. You get me? You get me? So yeah. Before we get into that, don't forget to join the Discord. You guys already know how to join the Discord. Just check the link in the description. And don't forget to join or follow me on Instagram, rather. You know, Shark underscore YT. And yeah, let's just get into the video. So for Italy now. There are three teams. You have Italy, Netherlands, Turkey. Hmm. No offense to Turkey, but I'm not going to open the Turkey pack. You have Yilmaz, you have Kalinagu, and some other decent players there. But I just don't want them. I might look at them because I think you have Sionku as well. Might look at them. I don't know. But Italy, though. Let's look at Italy. You have a, uh, you have a good amount of decent players in there that I want. So let's hope that I can um, get a couple of them. So first, let everybody know Immobile. I would definitely take Immobile. You guys already know that I love the gems. Immobile is a, not a gem, but he's an underrated player because nobody really uses him. And I would love to use him. 99 finishing. Oh my God. No weak foot. Ha. Immobile. I would use... Is this Barrello? No, it's Verratti. Okay, so there's Verratti. I uh, don't really want Verratti. Not going to lie to you. I uh, don't want Grandpa Bonucci either. You know, build up player player and he's very slow and stuff but i guess he's very sturdy if you're playing with a fast player beside him so it, it can work and his heading is decent not even good he's good insignia he's a super sub so i'd use him and he's a prolific winger so i mean let's say for instance i start christian ronaldo can sub on insignia magic you get me 163 centimeters though so it's kind of short so i guess i wouldn't really have to cross the ball to him i guess i just get the ball to him and just curl it like what he's done in the world cup i guess that could work Donnarumma though, I this when I check the stats on PES Hub, this Donnarumma is actually the best featured Donnarumma that he has, or at least when I compared it to my featured Donnarumma, it's better. So I guess if I get this Donnarumma, it is a bonus. So I don't know how that's gonna happen really. Is this Barella no? Yes, it is Barella, and he is a super sub last time I checked, and he's a box to box. So he's a super sub box to box, but the only decent passing trait that he has is the one touch pass for a box to box you kind of want him to either have long range shooting or you want him to have um weighted passing uh, does he have through passing no he doesn't even have through passing you want him to have weighted passing through passing pinpoint um crossing and or you want him to have long range shooting or long range drive or outside curl or something he the only thing that he has is super sub and one touch pass so maybe it's not really the best to go out about, but you can always put on a skill on him. Grandpa Florenzi out there. Could use Florenzi as well. 173 centimeters from all my days. It's kind of decent. But he's an offensive um, fullback that has decent, not even decent, very good crosses. So he can get up the field and they have Berardi. He is also, he's no, he's a creative playmaker last time I checked, but he's not a super sub. No, the super subs in this pack are Insigne and Barilla. Yeah, I checked it before. Netherlands now. This pack is actually the one that most people don't really take heed of, but this is the more important pack to me. The most important player in this pack, and I'm not going to lie, is De Jong. Or De Jong or De Jong. I don't know what you want to call him, but the reason why I said this is because his passing and his interceptions are really, really good. So De Jong or De Jong is the player that would really, really, really um be that guy in the midfield actually you know sturdy and stuff and i think he's an orchestrator let me just check it before i'm i don't want to misguide you guys he's an orchestrator yeah so i would definitely get the young delete no this delete actually has 87 speed and i think 84 acceleration which is way better when he maxed out compared to his base card so the and his jump is better his offensive not often his defensive awareness his his heading is better so this card overall is better than the base card so if i get him i could actually use him in my team because one of the problems that i had with his base card is that he's not as fast as he was in pest 20 when he had the 101 rated delete everybody knows the 101 rated delete so yeah um, or the 100 rated let me not you know but still his stats are excellent here so i might just use him if i get him because i like it so yeah um depay right he's a whole player the problem is i really have with depay is that he's a whole player but when i check like the the pest guide or the pest how to it said that whole player aren't activated at center forward 
So I was kind of confused. Like, does he have a new, like, even though he's a whole player center for it, do I have to put him as a second striker or a supporting striker for him to play like a whole player or do I, because it says he's not activated at center for it. But seeing that center forward is um, his main position, does it activate there same way? Or he just doesn't have a playing style at center forward same way? But it's Depay. The only thing that he doesn't have is one touch pass, I believe. Gigi Wijnaldum is another gem in this pack that I really want because he's actually one of the best box to box out there. When I say best, I don't mean he's not the best in terms of stats in anything, but he's the utility player. He can give you a job in attacking mid, central mid, and defensive mid. So I could use him. Um, uh, is this Bergwijs? Bergwijs is a is a Poundland Beckham. Poundland Beckham meaning like if you can't find Beckham and you're really really desperate, you can get this guy. His stats are nowhere close to Beckham, but because you don't have Beckham, this is the best they can do. You get me because he's a cross specialist. Beckham is a cross er or a cross specialist because I have cross specialist Beckham and I have box to box Beckham. So let's say, for instance, you want a cross specialist, you're a flank player, you like to play right wing or right mid or even left mid, you can put him over there and he can do a job. And his crosses are actually accurate because he has 90, I'm not sure if you're going to show here, but he has 93. Well, this is 91, but he's supposed to have in the 90s curls, so his crosses are supposed to be absolutely accurate. If you guys wondering why I'm taking the time out to talk about the players, I'm just giving you guys like small, it's not even reviews, but small information on the players before you even get them. So I don't want you guys to feel like any other players that you get are worthless, you know? Every player has worth. That's just my opinion though. Um, Daily Blin, I don't want him. The reason why I said this is because he is a cent he's a, a build-up play and he has rising shot, but he doesn't have the interception. No, he doesn't have the man marking trait to me, or even fighting spirit. To me, that's kind of useless. Obviously, he can train it onto him, but if he was an extra front man or a destroyer and he had a rising shot, then it would be perfect. But the fact that you're a build-up play, build-up play are the, the, the centre-backs who actually stay the deepest. Why would he even be at the top of the box? You get me? Why every centre back needs interception and man marking. If he doesn't have those two together, he may just be a problem for you. And luckily, you can always train it onto him. But I'm not here to waste any um tokens on a player to give him man marking from Konami. He's a freaking defender. You don't need for give him. You know, dumb freeze. No, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but I call him dumb freeze. Don't know if you said dumb fries, but still, he is one of the best offensive wing backs in the Euros. And I obviously why obviously you can see why he has two goals to his name. So obviously, if you use him right now, he I think he'll be in A form. So if you get dumb freeze, don't, 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 don't. What the hell, brother? I didn't even check these stats before. I checked everybody's stats except for Dumfries because I just assume that Dumfries had pinpoint crossing. He had um probably like a double touch or something. The man doesn't have interception, doesn't have man marking, doesn't have long, doesn't have pinpoint crossing, doesn't have weighted passing, doesn't have dog. What is this, brother? So him, he's just crossing in shallow, then he just cross and hope. His lofted passing is 81, I think, when it's maxed. Now this is pass and hope from what is, nah, chief. The only thing is that him strong and him fast. Okay, all right, you know what? Obviously, stats can lie. So hopefully he plays better than the stats. And this is Derun. Uh Yeah, I, I wouldn't want him, but you know, I, I think he's a box to box with man marking and intercepting. But as I say, he doesn't have he doesn't have one touch pass. He doesn't have any other shooting traits, and he doesn't have any passing traits either. So oh, he has low lofted passing. All right, fine. He can play some tiki taka football like Ajax. Congratulations, it can work out. So yeah. That was a just some that was just a little mini review on every single player that's there. <sighs> Look at the turkey pack. Is it is the turkey pack worth it? <sighs> Siyanku, Kalinagu, Kalinagu, sorry, Kalinagu, um, Yilmaz, <sighs> Tufan, Ooh, Yaziki. Is this Samir? No, it's not Samir. It's Kassir. Samir is is Switzerland. Um. Yokoslu, I don't know who that is. Left back Meras. All right, you know, let's get into the video. So, so we're gonna open the Italy pack first. As we said, we want Immobile. All right, we just want anybody. Just give me somebody. It don't matter. Give me. S Whoops, my fault. <laughs> All right, 
so we're back my phone fell I'm gonna cut that out obviously is that insignia you know mm -mm. how much you got I got 25 in Florenzi all right so we got grandpa Florenzi out there that's one player lovely 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 let's go again come on we got this come on let's go let's go let's go let's go we got this we got this we got this we got this okay so it is a right-footed player so let's see who oh immobile yes now that i have immobile i'm gonna be international absolutely magnificent immobile gonna oh my god i'm gonna match this guy out you know i'm gonna give you guys a review for this one i know i said i was gonna give you guys an, an mbappe review but it's coming just wait on it it's coming all right so i might not open the more netherlands but i mean no more italy part let's go again we're gonna go in netherlands all right no don't give me gg why not though. give me De Young. give me De Young. just yo give me somebody please don't be dumb free <laughs> after looking at his stats i'm like ah no it's them memphis the pie ak no it's AK. well it kind of look like memphis the pie you know like it look like john legend now you know them way they from the graphics never really too op there so but i now have memphis the pie aka john legend aka the lion you get me the guy who just signed for barcelona he isn't at um leon anymore all right oh so if i put him beside immobile in a two striker formation and put him as a sec second striker beside immobile who's a center forward i guess he'll be making some whole runs so i guess he i don't yo let's experiment and see what happens we can review the both of them together all right what is happening that is what we want to know is that daily bling no it's the young it's the young it's the young it's the young no worry about it man i know these players faces now i kind of like i know these even though i should be looking at the foot but i know these player faces so all right so we got the young the young i don't know what you want to call him all right so no no duplicate so far you know what i'm gonna open it one more time i don't even know why i'm here so far I'm gonna open it one more time. Please, no duplicates. As long as I don't get a duplicate, I'll be fine. But don't give me daily bling either. How much you got? Ah, uh, that's G. Wait. I should have looked at the foot. That's what I should have looked at. It's Dumfries, alright. You know what? I will use him. I will use him. But the fact that he doesn't have any crossing ability, that's that's the downside too. But hey, thank you guys for watching this video. I know that it was a bit, I spent a time just talking about every single player. But I hope, I just wanted to explain. Because like, I did the research before the packs even came out. On, you get me? So I was just checking it out and telling you guys what to get versus what not to get. And why you should t look for this player. Why you shouldn't look for this player. And what are the weaknesses and the strengths. So that, you know, you know that. If you open the pack and you get Dumfries, for instance, maybe he's not as good as a Florenzi, you get me? Or maybe if you get an Immobile, you know, yeah, I just wanted to explain that. So I hope I got that. I hope that's what came across. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to open a Legends GP box draw next. So get ready for that. I'm out.